Hello, math scholars. Today's topic is 24 hour clock word problems that are multi step, meaning more than a single step. If you haven't done so already, I would highly recommend you check out 24 hour clock word problems single step, just so that we are all on the same page when we start this topic. So let's get started. And the other topic we learned that our final time minus our initial time is equal to our elapsed time. And if we know of two, any two of these, we can find the third one. Now, that was very easy for single step. The problem is multi-step is a little bit harder. If you look at this timeline above, they give you the, the initial time, which is 1845, and they give you the final time, which is 2355. But they only give you a portion of an elapsed time. Hmm. Our goal is to try to simplify these things as much as possible. I'm going to put a question mark here because we don't know if it's the full elapsed or anything else. Remember, since this is a two-part process, we can figure out just using the initial time and the final time, the elapsed time for the entire thing. We can figure out this entire portion. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have 2355 minus 1845. And what do I have? 55 minus 45 is 10. And 23 minus 18 is 5. So the entire portion up here is 5 hours and 10 minutes long. Problem is, I'm looking for this question mark, which is about only part of this 5 hours and 10 minute long section. So that means I need to know what, how long the other part was. If the other part was 35 minutes, then this part must be 5 hours and 10 minutes minus 35 minutes. So I'm just going to rewrite this down here in a form that we know how to solve with. I'm going to borrow 60 minutes because 10 needs to turn into 70 in order for this to work out very well in order to get non-negative numbers, and I get this final result. So our question mark, the one we're looking for, should be 4 hours and 35 minutes. So let's backtrack a bit. What did I do? Yes, I used my equation, but that was not the answer I was looking for. The answer I was looking for was actually just this portion right here. Now, I can't find that portion unless I understand that this portion plus this portion equals my total time. And therefore, in reverse, if I think about it in reverse, in order to find this portion, I need to subtract what I know from this total part. It's like I took this entire giant thing, and I cut off this 35-minute piece, and I have what I have left in this, in, as my final answer. I hope that's clear, and good luck.